So I've gone ahead and made the uh, rear cylinder covers and obviously these fit on the rear of the cylinder. So next I'm going to make the uh, piston rods and unfortunately they turned out to be a little bit more involved than expected. The material I bought for the piston rods wasn't quite up to spec. This is the material I'm using for the piston rods. Quarter inch uh, stainless steel. So I bought this off eBay and it was advertised as ground stainless steel suitable for model engineering. So I've been sliding it back and forth inside the uh, rear cylinder covers on the cylinders. You can see some wear patterns on there. So that's like a ribbed effect. And actually when I rub my fingers along, I can just barely feel like a ripple as I go along there. So I don't think that's very good. So I'm hoping if I lap this, I can just clean that up and make it completely smooth. Uh, it's a bit disappointing, but never mind. Anyway, so I'm using a quarter micron diamond paste. Let's put a bit on there. It's very fine, so I don't know. It might take a while just to get half a thou off, I'm not sure. And I've just made a little uh, lapping block, or a lapping tool. So I've just drilled and reamed this quarter inch. Um, I've put a little hole in the back here as the hinge point and I've put a little bolt in to be able to set it because I'm going along a long length I want to set this to a specific size because I want this to be perfectly parallel so I'll just run that along there first get some spread out some of that diamond paste okay I'll just nip that up a little bit of resistance there. So I've been busy about 10 minutes and you can see where it's cutting you can de definitely see that ribbed pattern and it's definitely taking more off this side here and I put the mic in and I'm not sure you can see it but we'll try so that's exactly quarter of an inch and this end it's slightly bigger looks like it might be a tenth tenth of a thou. But you can definitely see as it goes along it's taking more and more off this end. So if I ground bar that's not particularly good. Okay I'm going to switch to a one micron uh, lapping compound. So because I'm going to a course I grit I'm just going to use the same lapping uh, block. But if I was going to a finer grit I would need to use a different mapping block because the, the diamond is actually embedded in the aluminium now. Okay so the polished portion that you can see, well I hope you can see is actually getting much much wider and the part that's not getting cut is getting narrower so I think we're making progress so yes we've definitely uh, made some progress I think but because we've lost the uh, ripple pattern on this end and this end was slightly bigger than the rest
Oh, that looks a lot better. So we'll give it a polish with the uh, quarter micron diamond lapping compound. Well, that means we'll need a new lap. Final polish. So that's both ends of this bar done. So I need to cut about four inches off each end. I think it's four and a sixteenth. But it's quite amazing that I can feel a ripple effect on the center of the bar that hasn't been lapped. But it only takes a couple of tenths of a thou to smooth it out. So I've just cut myself a piece of uh, brass tube that fits nicely on that quarter inch uh, stainless steel. And we'll set it up in the four jaw to thread the end. So this is a chance to use our brand new Michitoyo dial gauge and our Noga magnetic stand. So that looks pretty good. Let's fine adjust it. Yep, that looks pretty good. We'll settle for that. So that's the uh, piston rods finished. The first one took me over an hour to lap. That's because I started off with the uh, quarter micron diamond lapping compound, which was far too fine. The second one took me about 40 minutes, uh, starting off with the one micron lapping compound. 
These are the crosshairs made in the previous video. And I had intended for these uh, piston rods to be a light press fit in there. So although I've taken off between two and three tenths of a thou on diameter, they actually still going to be a little bit of a press fit in there. That almost goes in. So it's a reasonably tight fit, which is what I'm looking for. So that's okay. I think the other one will be the same. Yeah, it's just starting to go in there. I think that would be good. Thanks for watching. See you next time.